For millennia, we've gazed up at our celestial neighbor. We know its familiar face, the man in the moon, the sea of tranquility, the cold, gray, silent landscape we thought was static and predictable. But the moon has always kept a secret. It's tidally locked with Earth, showing us only one side. The other, the far side, remains forever hidden from direct view, a strange, heavily cratered terrain known only through robotic imagery. And it's beneath this hidden, mysterious face that the moon conceals something truly immense. What if something colossal, something ancient, dense, and unnaturally heavy, is lurking hundreds of miles beneath the far side's crust? Not a myth, but a discovery made by NASA that defies explanation. NASA's GRAIL mission detected a massive gravitational anomaly deep beneath the lunar surface. It's a structure hundreds of miles wide, denser than anything around it, and so heavy it literally tugs on satellites flying overhead. Its mass is equivalent to a small dwarf planet. Is this the compressed core of a rogue asteroid? A metal-rich relic from the moon's violent birth? Or does this gravitational scar hint at secrets so deep we are only beginning to scratch the surface? This is the story of the South Pole Aitken Basin Anomaly, a journey behind the moon, to the place where four billion-year-old science meets profound, unsettling mystery. The mission, ebb, flow, and the gravity map. The mystery began in 2011 with a groundbreaking scientific endeavor, the GRAIL mission, short for Gravity Recovery and Interior Laboratory. GRAIL was designed not to photograph the moon, but to weigh it. Its primary goal was to create the most precise gravitational map of the moon ever conceived, revealing the invisible structures hidden deep beneath its surface. The mission consisted of two small, identical spacecraft, aptly named Ebb and Flo. They didn't just orbit the moon, they danced with it. Flying in tandem, one trailing the other, they constantly measured the precise distance between them using microwave signals. This is where the genius of the mission lies. As the lead satellite, Ebb, flew over a region of higher density, like a mountain or a buried chunk of iron, it would be tugged forward slightly by the increased gravitational pull. This tiny acceleration would increase the distance between Ebb and flow. Conversely, when Ebb flew over a region of lower density, it would slow down relative to flow, and the distance would shrink. By mapping these minute second-by-second second changes in distance, scientists created an X-ray of the Moon's interior. Every fluctuation in the signal was a clue to the density and composition of the rock hundreds of miles below. And what they found beneath the Moon's South Pole Aitken Basin, a vast, ancient, 2,500-kilometer-wide crater on the far side, shocked the scientific community. The discovery a mass hiding in plain sight. The GRAIL data revealed a colossal gravitational fingerprint, a mass anomaly so significant it was clearly visible on the map. What exactly did they find? A structure of immense density, far denser than the lunar mantle rock surrounding it. It's estimated to contain an excess mass of over 2.4 quadrillion tons, a number so vast it's difficult to visualize but it's equivalent to adding a small, metal-rich dwarf planet to that single spot. To put its size in perspective, this dense structure is roughly 300 kilometers wide and 1,000 kilometers long, five times the size of the Big Island of Hawaii, all lurking approximately 290 kilometers, or 180 miles beneath the surface. The structure is clearly metallic. It exerts such a strong gravitational pull that even though the mission ended in 2012, scientists spent years verifying and re-verifying the data to ensure they weren't misinterpreting the signals. This metallic monster sits right in the middle of the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the most mysterious and oldest features in the entire solar system. The basin itself is the largest, deepest, and oldest confirmed impact crater we know of dating back some 4.2 billion years. The picture is clear, it's metallic, it's colossal, and it's been buried on the Moon's far side since the very dawn of our solar system. The question now shifts from what is it to how did it get there? Theory number one, the fossilized asteroid core. 
The most compelling, scientifically-backed theory links the massive anomaly directly to the event that created the basin itself, a catastrophic planet-shaping impact. Billions of years ago, a colossal asteroid, perhaps 150 to 200 kilometers across, slammed into the young moon. This rock wasn't just ordinary space debris. It would have been a differentiated body, containing a dense core of iron, nickel, and other heavy elements. The impact was unimaginably violent, hitting the moon with such force that it carved out the immense South Pole Aitken Basin, exposing rock from deep within the lunar mantle. Normally, such a blast would vaporize the impactor and scatter the debris across the solar system. But the theory goes that the asteroid was so massive and the impact so energetic that its dense metallic core essentially survived the collision, acting like a punch. This core then plunged through the liquid-hot early lunar crust and mantle, settling hundreds of miles below the surface. Over the eons, the surrounding mantle rock would have slowly cooled and solidified, effectively trapping and freezing the asteroid's metallic heart in place. If this theory is correct, the anomaly is an astonishing find. The fossilized core of a massive ancient cosmic traveler. It is a 4 billion year old metallic scar, preserved in stone, a permanent testament to the violence that shaped our moon and our solar system. It means that the moon, in a sense, is wearing the core of its killer deep beneath its skin. Theory number two, the moon's own core material. While the asteroid core is the leading explanation, some planetary geologists propose an equally fascinating, though perhaps more geologically complex, alternative. The anomaly is not foreign at all, but native to the Moon. This theory suggests the dense material is a relic from the Moon's own deep interior, a chunk of core material pulled upward and trapped during its chaotic early formation. When the Moon first cooled, it was covered by a vast churning magma ocean. As this magma ocean solidified, a process called differentiation occurred. Heavy metals like iron and titanium-rich minerals sank toward the center to form the Moon's small core, while lighter silicate minerals floated upward to form the crust. But this process wasn't perfect. Perhaps a major secondary impact or internal magnetic forces could have disrupted the flow. The theory posits that massive chunks of this dense, iron-rich material, which should have sunk to the core, were instead caught in an updraft of mantle rock. These heavy minerals, perhaps ilmenite, a titanium iron oxide, were then insulated and trapped closer to the surface in the upper mantle where they solidified. The fact that the anomaly sits directly beneath the largest impact basin is key. The massive heat and energy from that impact could have been the very force that mobilized this deep material and caused it to settle in this strange, off-center location. In this scenario, the hidden structure is a magnificent geological opportunity, a time capsule of the Moon's internal plumbing. It is a direct, preserved snapshot of the chaotic, 4.4 billion-year-old process that formed the Moon's layers, granting us a window into its deep interior that we couldn't otherwise access the unproven and the unknown. Despite the compelling scientific hypotheses, the human mind often leaps to the most dramatic conclusion. The news of a massive, metallic, 2.4 quadrillion ton object buried under the moon's hidden side, naturally, fueled a rich landscape of speculation and conspiracy theories. The internet quickly coined theories that the anomaly could be an ancient alien base, a forgotten outpost shielded from Earth's electromagnetic signals and view. Some even suggest it's a massive artificial structure, perhaps a leftover artifact from a lost interstellar civilization that predates the Moon's capture by Earth's gravity. While there is zero scientific evidence for these claims, they underscore an important truth the actual scientific mystery is compelling enough on its own. The truth is, we have an X-ray of the object's mass, but we don't have its chemical composition. Even our most powerful lunar radars can only skim the edges of this deep anomaly. It lies in a region of the far side that is extraordinarily difficult to reach and even harder to study up close. We currently have a list of suspects for a buried structure, an asteroid core, or deep core material, 
but we don't have the final proof. Until we land a dedicated seismic probe, or perhaps more ambitiously, drill deep into the mantle near the anomaly, the secret stays sealed. The anomaly is a powerful reminder that our nearest celestial neighbor is still largely an uncharted world. The legacy and the future of lunar exploration. The discovery by the GRAIL mission is more than just an astronomical curiosity. It is a profound lesson in planetary science. We often view the moon as static, dead, and familiar, but beneath its surface lies a vast, untouched record of the earliest, most violent days of our solar system. Every crater, every lava plain, and now every gravitational anomaly is preserved like a cosmic archive. The massive structure beneath the South Pole Aitken Basin is a symbol of how much we have left to learn in our own cosmic backyard. If a metal-dense object larger than a major tectonic plate can hide beneath the moon for billions of years without detection, what else might be waiting for us? This is why the Artemis program and the push to return humans to the moon is so crucial. Future missions like the planned geophysical surveys near the South Pole will use advanced seismometers and radar to finally map the moon's interior in three dimensions. Only then can we definitively determine whether the anomaly is a trapped piece of a massive impactor or a piece of the moon's own misplaced heart. The moon is not just a destination, it's the Rosetta Stone for understanding planetary formation. The hidden mass on the far side is beckoning us back. The far side's deep secret. The moon has always been a world of dichotomy, light and shadow near and far. One face has always been locked toward us, the other forever turned away. Now we know that even beneath that dark hidden side, there's an ancient massive secret sealed in rock and metal a colossal gravity well that speaks of the moon's turbulent youth. Was it born in fire and collision with a rogue asteroid? Was it forged in the chaos of its own cooling core? Or is the truth something weirder, something waiting in the 2.4 quadrillion tons of excess mass beneath the South Pole Aitken Basin? Until we go back and dig deep, the truth will remain buried, silently tugging at our world's most mysterious companion, if this mystery blew your mind, hit that like button and subscribe to Cosmic Crunch for more cosmic mysteries that challenge what we think we know. Drop a comment below. What do you believe is hiding under the moon's far side? A piece of a foreign planet or a giant chunk of the moon's own core? And don't go anywhere. Our next video dives into an even stranger cosmic secret. A planet that rains metal and glows like fire.